Hello and welcome back to Console Cowboys. In this video, we're going to take a look at the motion sensors. We're going to see how we can use its own functionality against itself in order to shut it down so we can walk right past it without ever triggering the alarm. But first, we need to take a look at how it functions normally. So let's do that. I'm going to pull up a video of the motion sensor and wave my hand in front of it. You'll see a signal go across and then after maybe five or six seconds, we'll see another signal go across as the light shuts off on the receiver. What's going on is the transmitter is sending another signal over to the receiver that it hasn't seen any motion after a period of time. Once we saw this happen, we had an idea. If we could just keep sending a notification that there was no motion, then the receiver may not alert at all. So we first tried this using the simple replay attack from the first video, but with all the extra data in that packet, it kind of was on and off. We had about a 50% chance of getting caught. Then we decided, well, we're going to have to decode this and then shorten the process so that way we could kill it off completely. Let's open up a capture in Audacity of the second signal and take a look at what's going on and see if we can decode that. If we zoom into the signal, you'll notice the first one is a little shorter. It looks like the rest of them are repeating, so let's scroll over and take a look. Yep, it looks like the same signal over and over, except for the first one, which looks a little different. So when I was doing some testing, I noticed that if I sent the first one, it did nothing. If I sent the second one, repeating it did nothing but if I combine them together it would then disable the actual motion sensor so what we're gonna need to do is decode both and send it the way that it is in this picture meaning that we need to send the first part and then we need to repeat the second part just like in the last video we need to make a binary representation of the transmission above the pattern above looks like the length of 1 and 3 again so 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. We also ended up short of a full byte again, so we'll need to add five zeros to the end of our binary. If we scroll over and take a look at the second pattern, it's similar in that everything's in the length of 1 and 3. However, it looks like it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on. So it's quite a different pattern, but similar. We'll need to send both of these in conjunction in order to disable the motion sensor. Let's pad out the rest of this byte and then convert them both to hex. You should remember how to convert to hex from the last video, so I'll paste that in here now. Next, I'm going to paste in some code that should also look familiar. The only real difference is we wrapped everything in a while one loop that never ends. The hex we're going to send over needs to emulate what's above. So we're going to add in the first part padded with six zeros. Then we'll add in the second part. We'll pad that with six zeros. And the second part we'll send ten times to emulate the above repeating pattern. This should be all we need. So we can delete what's above, save the file, and then we're ready to send it over and see if we can disable the motion sensor. I'm going to pull up a second video of our motion sensor. That's going off so we know it's working. And then I'll pull up GQRX, start that so we can monitor everything, pull up a terminal, and start our attack. Once we start our attack, we're just going to tell the receiver over and over again that there's no motion. So if I wave my hand in front of it, and then I hit it, it looks like nothing's happening. If you take a look in the background, you'll notice that GQRX is scrolling our while loop over and over again, telling the sensor that everything's okay. We have successfully disabled our motion sensor. One thing you can learn from this is that you always need to profile your target and look for likely attack scenarios based on the functionality it provides. By understanding what your target is doing, you will understand the ways to attack it. I would suggest you perform each of these attacks for practice, capture the motion signal, view it in Audacity and count the binary out, convert it to hex, think about why you have padding, why you are only repeating one part of it. 
and of course, why you are running it in a while one loop. If you purchase the full alarm kit with the door opener alert, observe the functionality and think about what the best way of attacking it would be. Will any of the methods we used be useful? Do you need a different attack to disable it? In the next video, I will answer that question before we dive into attacking other devices. If you learned something, hit the like button below. If you want to be notified when there's new videos, hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next video.